uh, sandstone mm -hmm. and um, you know that that um, that that's where most of the opal comes from in the uh, in the world uh, certainly in Australia anyway uh, the opal is owned by a company a private company in Australia called silver orchid proprietary limited Mm -hmm. And one, the way we came um, in possession of it was that one of the shareholders of that company, when we bought this company, uh, a mining company in Australia, did not have the cash to pay for his shares. So he paid for the uh, shares with the opal. And, yeah, that's cool. That's a cool story right there. Yeah. So the uh, that happened in 1980. And in 1991, um, I took the opal to the Tucson Gem Show, um, and uh, we exhibited it there. And the, uh, the reason we were there was our mine manager was selling some gold nuggets that we had mined in Australia. And uh, while I was there, the uh, the Smithsonian Mineral Collection Manager uh, asked if I would donate the stone to the Smithsonian and to be placed in the same exhibit space as the Hope Diamond, the Star of Bombay, the Logan Sapphire, and the Hooker Emerald. And ours would be the main opal exhibited in that space. Well, wow. Yeah. And so um, the Smithsonian offered uh, me uh, naming rights and a plaque with our name on as donors plus a tax write-off for the uh, opals value in the uh, in the United States. As an Australian company, we couldn't use the tax write-off but didn't need it anyway as we were developing the mine and had plenty of expenses to offset against any sales we were making. And um, so the fellow from the Smithsonian, Paul Pohat, um, wanted it pretty badly, so I offered to lend it to them uh, to give them a chance to find a donor. I took it to the Smithsonian in Washington in 1993 um, and they weren't able to find a donor, so I picked it up from them in 1995. And I was on the way back up to, uh, driving back up from Washington, D.C. to uh, Toronto, and I took it to Christie's Auctioneers in New York uh, to see what uh, what they could do with it, if they could put it on the market or whatever, and they said it should be cut and faceted to get the best price. So I couldn't allow it to 